From dispatching aid to Syrian refugees and international disaster zones to day trippers simply heading off somewhere they never visited before, one thing can be crucial, a map. That's why volunteer mappers from around the globe have descended on Birmingham for a conference. They claim their free online maps are more accurate than many commercial ones. Joanne Rittle reports. Syrian refugee camps and disasters like the earthquake in Haiti mean aid agencies need precise information about where help is needed. Q. Kate Chapman, originally from Washington and now living in Indonesia. She's part of an army of international mappers. In the case of Syria, for example, primarily we help make maps. And what we do is there's a variety of satellite information available and you show the picture on your computer and you can trace over it to pick out specific things. Uh, very typical is roads or water. Kate's at Aston University joining 300 mappers from around the world for the annual conference of the free online open street map. They work on maps in ordinary neighbourhoods as well as the developing world. We've had 73 people have updated nearly 14,000 improvements to the map. Organiser Brian Prangle says their maps are often more up to date than commercial ones. They're not very useful if they're not up to date. People will turn up and find that a building has been demolished or a new housing estate has been put up or a road has been put into a one-way street and you're trying to go down it the wrong way. We've come out with some of the volunteers to see how they work, recording data using GPS units and smartphones. Though I'm told Birmingham is already incredibly well mapped. Yeah, OK, so this, this is a standard issued black, black cab taxi pool, so if we yeah. put that one down, I guess. Satoshi Ida has travelled from Japan specifically for the conference. Pouring rain marking his first visit to the UK, he and the other volunteers here update maps in their local areas. Everyone has their way or method to edit the map, so uh, it's important that uh, exchange the skills. So whether it's down your street or mapping for humanitarian aid, a volunteer army is plotting around the clock. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.